Um, let us today look at the power of chanting the Aum Mantra. The Aum forms the basic sound syllable of all sounds. That is, it's the mother of all sounds. The Aum, if it's properly chanted with the proper flow of your breath, you can silence the mind. The Aum was used by the sages and the rishis of the past as an initiating mantra. They used the Aum to silence their mind very quickly. When I say very quickly, I don't mean 5-10 seconds. You constantly get absorbed into the mantra. Your mind will relax, relax, relax and it will become silent. And during the process of relaxation and silence, the sound vibration of the Aum, when you chant, you can penetrate into different layers of experience. That is, different layers of the human consciousness. With proper sadhana, you can access your subconscious or even your unconscious mind through the chanting of the Aum. Ideally, as soon as you get up in the morning, first thing you need to do from your bed, sit and chant the Aum at least eight times get absorbed in it. Then you set your day with the vibration of the Aum in your thought process. So most of the mental clutter, the tension, the stress, all of that is negated with Aum as your first thought in the morning. Then, if you have time, if you're a working individual, you can practice at 12 noon, especially when the sun, 12, 12.30 when the sun is on right on top of your head. In that direction, when you practice the Aum, there are some gravitational fields which act from your brain, your magnetic fields, and with the fields of the sun, you can feel some sort of connection. When you chant the Aum, visualizing the sun, which is position on right on top of your sahasra, base your sahasra chakra. So chanting the Aum mid-noon is a very powerful practice. Then, before you go to sleep in the night, chant the Aum again eight times. Then, all the daily stress, all the work, thoughts, everything gets neutralized. Your mind is silenced and you will have a very good sleep in the night as well. You can use the Aum as a tool for your day-to-day -day activities. It does not necessarily have to be limited to the prayer room or the temple. The Aum was devised by the Rishis and the Siddhas as a psychological tool of concentration. It's very easy, anyone can learn it and practice it. And the Aum, once you master or once your mind, your body, your consciousness, all becomes one with the chanting of the Aum. We call it Aum Samadhi or the Aum meditative experience. You naturally tend to feel that you're one with your surroundings, with the nature, with the whatever you want to perceive with your mind, you feel it's one with your mind. The Aum opens up layers of your human intellect 
and it allows you to connect to the vast conscious universe. So the Aum, even though it's so simple, it has so much power in it. When you chant it properly, you are transforming into a divine person. You're transforming into a good, a social responsible person. Even a person with a lot of anger and bad qualities, or who is perceived by society to be not very friendly, rude, even such a person with constant practice, repeated practice of Aum chanting, they will see changes within themselves. They can control their emotions and negative states and they can create new thoughts. Personality is like water. It's very flexible. It's like elastic. It can be stretched and it can be changed and transformed. Only well, if you believe that you are this and this personality and this attitude which society has labeled you, only then you feel limited. When you feel society or personality is just expressions of your memory and your understanding. And if you believe you can transform it with your own thought process, that's where you become realized or a fully self-conscious person. So let us focus on chanting the Aum and let us practice Aum chanting daily to achieve higher states or subtle states of conscious experience. Aum. Ah. Uh. 